Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech with a short bonus rant today. This actually isn't a magic strategy discussion or even a talk over particular cards. This is just an opportunity for me to blow off some steam over a new policy decision that Star City Games has come up with. But quick, before we jump into the full announcement, let's look at a quiz. Which of these do you think will cost more to play or use? World of Warcraft, or Star City Game Premiere Blog Content. Take a second here. Well, I wouldn't be ranting if it was World of Warcraft, but the new pricing model for Star City Games has a weekly level at $4, moving it up to $16 a month if you end up renewing on a weekly basis, but also has several other levels and is basically doubling the price of their current premiere content. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they've hired a new business consultant, someone to come up with new ideas. Unfortunately, I think they got the wrong person this time. Here is a chart of the old pricing structure where for about $30 a year you could get access to all of the content or even on a monthly basis for $5 you could get access to their premiere content. Now I'm not a big fan of content behind paywalls at all um, but as far as that goes this was a pretty reasonable model. Now for basically the same price as what you would get Previously, for a month, you get one week's access. The monthly access has doubled in price. Quarterly access has tripled in price. A new tier has been added at six months access that is higher than what it used to cost for a year. And your yearly access is $50, which is the best deal out there. I'm not sure what they're thinking here. The weekly access should have an entirely different pricing structure to it. It should be free. It should be a way to get people into the premiere content. People love an opportunity to try things out, but you're pricing them out at the very, very beginning of this structure. I cannot tell you how sad this makes me feel. The justification that has been put forward for this is, well, people will pay for newspapers, and if they really want good content, they should go the way of newspapers. I, I'm not sure what consultant Star City Games has paid way too much for, but if they haven't noticed, Ariana Huffington and Huffington Post is beating the hell out of newspapers currently. This is a bad way to go. Why model yourself after a dying industry in the internet age? But my real concern about this is that they don't understand that community and number of readers is more valuable than the particular content that you're being looked at. A lot of the value of Star City Games is that it also brings a lot of people to the website and you have interesting comments, you have interesting discussions. The direction that they should be going is to take this community and grow the community so that there are better resources available. This higher pricing structure, even though it grandfathers in those of us that are currently Premier members, takes new members and discourages them. And it also takes members that let's say do not renew their account and kicks them up to the new level, i.e. they leave. Slowly but surely you may be making a bit of short-term money, but the community that drives the site is priced out of the site until you're the only one left. Building community is more important than monetizing an individual user. Why is this happening currently? Well, I think part of it has to do with the disappearance and slow reappearance of Magic TV and the slowdown of content over at the Channel Fireball site since the leave of TSG. Now, I'm not going to get into that whole issue, but this has opened up a spot where Channel Fireball used to be my favorite place to go for Magic News, and I've moved over to SCG recently. But there are other ways to deal with this situation, and the genius that I think who stepped up in this situation is Evan Irwin. He moved off of the premier content only side of SCG and went back to YouTube. He understands that being available to new players, being available to as many fans as possible and not locking people out with a monetary key is the best way to build your community. 
The other thing that is really important right now is that if SCG goes through with this plan, basically doubling their prices across the board, it's a huge opportunity for someone else to do what Evan Irwin, who ironically is sponsored by Star City Games, is doing and step into this place. If there is a smaller magic site or one of the less dedicated one that is looking for a reason to pounce on this player market, maybe even hire away a few contributors and make a splash in the market, now is the time to strike and do it the way that individuals over at Channel Fireball have done in the past and make it free, make it open, and make it community-based. Thanks, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech.